Oh my god, it's been quite a long time since I was in this frame. But anyways, I'm super happy to make a new video for you guys again. And I know you've been waiting for this quite long. So it's gonna be an inf informative one again. I've been a bit busy uh, setting up all this streaming stuff and uh, everything. And uh, we can start streaming from tomorrow. That's also one big announcement that I want to make for you guys. So if you haven't subscribed and you love aircraft, so for any other reason, if you're an aviation freak or something, just go and subscribe. We're gonna have an awesome live stream tomorrow with FSX and everything. So it's gonna be super cool. With that said, welcome back to the channel guys and I hope you all are doing amazingly fine. Let's get started. So I got a, I get this question for, you know, almost every other, every other DM that I get, everyone asks me, sir, what to study, where to study from for my CPL exams or DGC exams or whatever you call it. And the answer is right here in this video. So today we'll be talking a lot about the books that I have personally referred and I use in order to study or I used in order to study and teach a lot of students throughout this two years of uh, instructional career that I had. And uh, these books are really helpful. If you're someone who's absolutely new, you can use them. If you're someone who just wants to revise stuff, you can still use them and it's basically for all purposes. So we're going to discuss all the books for navigation, technical regulations, meteorology and RTR as well. So let's get started. Also guys, all the books that I'll be listing here, uh, I'm going to put the links of all those books down in the description box and you guys can buy it from there. I have recently joined the Amazon affiliate program and if you guys go through that links, I will get a one or two percent commission on whatever you buy without any extra cost occurring to you whatsoever. So do consider hitting those and buying the books. They are the best edition at top and I did a little research and found them out. So whatever are in the links are the best and the most updated books for those particular subjects available for Indian BCA CPL exams. The first book that is we will start with meteorology. Now meteorology is a subject which is pretty vast but most of our exam pattern is basically on Indian Met okay or the weather forecast for India. Now but that is not the case when you study for your further on exams because you don't just need to know the climatology of India but you also need to know the whole global climatology. And the best book I will give you two books. One book will be for Indian climatology and to easily clear any or easily clear your meteorology paper for your CPL exams okay now this will be a little different when you opt for your ATPL exams later on so for CPL exams the best book that I would refer to study from is IC Joshi a book by uh, Captain IC Joshi it is called Aviation Meteorology I suppose uh, the link will be down in the description or the book is right here on your screen it looks something like this the most updated edition is pretty good and it's a very simple to read book. Some things, the later chapters will be a little difficult if you have no prior knowledge about the subject or you haven't taken any ground classes or if you haven't attended ground classes at a uh, flying club or so on. But otherwise, the questions are top notch. You can easily clear your DGC exams just if you refer to this book and study the questions and uh, the answers are also provided but i would suggest that if you need to have you need to first have proper knowledge about it so even if you're doing you know self-study read through the book then solve the questions try to solve them by yourself and then go ahead if you cannot then you can refer back and they have even mentioned which page i think the question or the answer is not only the option so that's a good point as well the next book that you can study for meteorology or global meteorology for that matter is Oxford Aviation uh, Meteorology book. Now, I will be suggesting Oxford Aviation books for any and every subject, to be honest, except for air law, because uh, Oxford basically follows different uh, civil uh, aviation body and DGCA follows a different set of rules. Every country has their own rules. So air law is not really, well, you know, helpful for you. So for that reason, you can uh, select Oxford Aviation books for any other subject, including meteorology for studying. These books are really really good especially for ATPL level as well. Next we are going to talk about air regulation. Now air regulations is everything to deal with the rules and regulations laws made with respect to civil aviation. Now the laws are constantly changing and uh, with respect to your examinations mostly you are not asked in detail you are asked upar upar se. So you will have to know you know what are rules of air, what are the privileges of a CPL holder, what are the privileges of a ATPL holder 
blah 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 so a lot of stuff is there the best book to study regulations is a book published by uh, rk bali and uh, that book has been in the market for quite a long time i have referred to it also again it is a very simple book you can just read through it and understand the regulations as well now, meteorology and regulations are considered to be one two of the easiest subjects in your whole cps uh, cpl uh, uh, syllabus so you can clearly and you can just go for this book you can again read through it it's quite a big book initially there were two parts to it part 1 and part 2 I think now they have combined them both in one single book, which uh, I personally don't like. I personally was good with part one and part two, just makes it look a little bit easier. So that is what it is. But uh, you can go through the content. There are also a lot of questions and uh, answers in after every chapter, which is really helpful if you are uh, planning to clear your DGCA regulations as soon as possible. with respect to one part of regulation where it comes human performance uh, that is not really very good in this book but for that i have another uh, book that you can use that is your oxford aviation human performance and limitations book again both of the links are down in the description oxford aviation books are not uh, readily available online but uh, you can purchase them through any store any uh, book store you can locate out in your place or you can obviously buy soft copies of them directly from oxford site which i'll put down in the description as well these books are expensive but i have a walk around for that if i get 300 likes on this video i will put links to each and every book that i am putting down here all the oxford books down in the description once this video reaches 300 likes or is 300 to less let's make it 400 okay 400 sounds pretty reasonable i mean utna to tum kar hi sakte ho yaar free mein mil rahe links one book costs around 6 grand sure and there are a set of 14 books so you can do the math i'm very bad at math sadly next let's talk about technical so aircraft technical is aircraft general and you have specific now specific is with respect to any type of aircraft you are flying and the best way to study your technical specific is to just open the manual or the poh as we call it of an aircraft read through it from section 1 to section 8 and uh, note every specific limitation of an aircraft what are the maximum speed the fuel quantity oil quantity what type of engine it has what are the engine specification blah 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 so a lot of thing you can just read through them and you'll get through your specific paper now when it comes to technical general technical general the syllabus is vast it's literally vast and i haven't come across any book in the indian market which is really good by any indian author so usually when we teach uh, in maverick or even at uh, flying clubs we usually refer to again oxford aviation books now in oxford aviation there are a set of if i'm not wrong three to four books one is for power plant that is your engines one is for electrics one is for principle of flight and uh, that is one for system knowledge as well that is aircraft systems so there are four books in total of oxford aviation again they are very 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 good books they will be enough for you from your spl level through your cpl and also through your atpl if not that even for your airline examinations and interviews these books are very detailed these books are really very detailed every point is nicely written the language which is used in the book is also not very difficult to understand you can read through it and understand these uh, oxford also has a set of cbts it also has a set of presentations made interactive presentations which are available online as well but again they are very expensive and you can find all of these for free that's why i am here there's a link of a channel i i haven't been sponsored by the channel but i usually refer to as and if i refer to as why not you get it so i have putting the link of the channel it i think its uh, name is aviation training network it's a very good channel you can find all of the interactive sessions videos the explanations are top notch to mark it's really good you can go there and check it out as well so those are the books that i refer for technical general next and my favorite subject the one that i instruct air navigation abhi navigation ke to hum champion hai okay whatever so the best books that i refer for navigation is again no indian book i refer from oxford aviation navigation there are four sets of books for general navigation radio navigation instrumentation and flight planning and monitoring these books are very good 
I refer them personally. अगर if you are not very well versed with that, you can also try to use books provided by GSP. Again, this is what it looks like. The link will be down in the description. You can buy that book. It is also a good book, but sometimes I find that the language in the Oxford books are much easier to understand for a lot of students compared to GSP. GSP uses a little difficult language, and some things that are in GSP are really a bit uh, off compared to Oxford. Oxford are very point to point every single uh, topic that you are studying for any subject it may be they are really well explained and you can also solve a lot of questions a lot of examples are given in the books and also a lot of mcq questions are there now one bad thing about oxford that i want to tell you guys is that oxford do not have a lot of back questions means a not not a lot of questions to practice you know for and that is the main you know just a bummer right i would say सो क्वेश्चन अगर तुमको प्रैक्टिस करना है फॉर एनी बुक यू कैन रिफर टू कीथ विलियम कीथ विलियम हैज अ वेरी बिग रेंज ऑफ बुक्स फॉर टेक्निकल फॉर नेविगेशन एक्सेट्रा वन मोर थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू से फॉर नेविगेशन इज प्रैक्टिस 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 ओके जनरल नेविगेशन इज फुल ऑफ सम्स प्रैक्टिस एज मेनी न्यूमरिकल एज यू कैन एंड दैट इज अ रीजन वाई यू गाइज नीड टू सिट डाउन गेट अ बुक विच हैज न्यूमरिकल एंड नो हाउ टू सॉल्व इट अगेन आई वुड सजेस्ट At this current market situation, do not waste time. Give every single attempt. Give it prepared. Take classes. Do whatever you want. If you are very smart, sit down, sit for a few hours, study them. Uh, if you know your caliber, if you think that you need help, just go for classes. Finish it off. Don't waste any time at all. Because on this day, market will open. That day, the day when jobs come after a year or so, if you are not up to the mark, if you do not have a CPL. is going to go waste because do not expect a lot of jobs to come but you know within no time so jab aayega ready rehna and last but not the least rtr rtr stands for radio telephony restricted restricted is the category of your license when google that why it's called restricted very important question asked in rtr exams anyways the best book to refer to is in indian terms is again a book which is written by rk bali i think it is let me check it out it's called Wow, it's called Radio Telephony Volume One and Volume Two, which uh, is a pretty good book. One bad thing about this is that it's a pretty old book, and uh, I haven't been able to find any other book which is for radio telephony. When we teach uh, at Mavericks or anywhere in class, we usually have a set of our compiled notes, and we take notes from the students, our students who have appeared for the previous batch. We tell them to write down the question papers, and we try to help the new students by practicing them. RTR is something that you have to practice, practice, practice. Okay, because it's practical. You're talking to the RT. You're talking on the RT. So it's a very practical subject. You can't by heart RTR. If someone is telling you that you by heart करके exam pass हो जाएगे. आगे बना रहे सो so, बिल्कुल मत करना वो जितना प्रैक्टिस करोगे उतना अच्छा होगा नाउ व्हाट टू प्रैक्टिस इज देयर इन सम ऑफ द बुक्स इट माइट नॉट बी देयर आल्सो इन सम ऑफ द बुक्स सो दैट इज द रीजन दैट आई टोल्ड यू आरटीआर डज नॉट हैव अ लॉट ऑफ कंटेंट बट इफ यू वांट टू गेट अ जस्ट ऑफ इट इफ यू वांट टू हैव अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ आईडिया व्हाट इट्स ऑल अबाउट वेल दिस इज द बुक फॉर यू सो यू कैन गो एंड बाय दैट वन अगेन लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन Apart from this, if you guys have any books that you have referred to and you think are really, really good, I you can put it down in the comment. You can help your fellow aspiring pilots if that's what you want to say, and you can also tell me. It's always you know knowledge is a tree. You can just keep learning your every single moment of your life, every passing day. You can be better. That's what I want to tell you guys. So with that said, I will sign off. Let's end this video here. If you like the video, do not forget to hit the like button. Also, I would say again, if you buy the books from the given links below, it would help me in some way. And also, I will make a lot of videos there. So till then, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and like I always say, stay golden. No matter what, stay golden. Bye bye.